Hello traders, this is uh, Andy from Trade Ideas. It is April the 13th on a Thursday and taking a look at the markets, uh, just not real crazy about uh, new swing positions, you know, at this level. I know the spies are kind of still defending their 10 period, but seeing a lot of back and forth sloppy action, not liking that candle yesterday either. Uh, Qs actually look a little bit uh, worse uh, down below their 10 and approaching their 20. But let's uh, take a look at some opportunity out there just in case. Uh, a couple of stocks jumping out at me here. Uh, Ollie's uh, bargain outlet uh, holding up well here. A big pivot level at this, uh, let's call it $60 range. If it does get above that $60, uh, pretty decent short float of 16%. Not too bad, but uh, uh, it's a key level there. Uh, let's take a look at Newmont. I'm still liking Newmont. I know they got a, a possible acquisition deal going on out there, but it pulled back yesterday. looks like we're gapping up above yesterday's high right now, but a nice little pullback in Newmont. Uh, let's face it, the gold sector has been on fire, so this is one I want to keep an eye on. Uh, bottom fisher here, this has been beaten up in the lower, you know, 10% uh, of its lifetime range, but once again, talking about key pivot levels, you can see here uh, this line around the uh, 1730 level held up pretty reasonably yesterday. So keep an eye up above that 1730 level for Sprint. And then one last one here. Let's take a look at this Legion. Since earnings uh, had a little head fake down, uh, but it's kind of building a wedge right here. So I think if it can take out this five day high. Uh, and you might see some uh, a decent move in that LEGN above all its major moving averages as well. All right, guys, uh, keep it tight. Like I said, I'm not crazy about uh, swing trades right now, but uh, there you go. Have a great weekend.